check that out. Isn't that nice? These boats are all covered with crab cages there, you see. Mostly on this area here, there's, there are big time crabs. There's a boat coming in right now. It's pretty clean. More nature. It is. So we are here now in Conception, Iloilo. Linda's got family here. We've been coming here for years. Uh, check it out though. It's the white pickup club. We got Nissan, Nissan, and Toyota white pickup club. Did you see mine? Mine's Faye. And well, this one. <laughs> This is the area up where Melinda's mom's from. This is where her family's from. The Astoria's family. Um, she's got uncles and all up here. This is a beautiful place when you get out. This is like a little bay right up in here, okay? As you see coming around. And of course you're gonna get a little bit of murky water and stuff up in the bay because it don't really flush itself out like it does up on the open water. But when you go out around those points right there, this whole bunch of islands, 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 islands. And some of the water gets really shallow between those islands, especially low tide. There's some of them you can literally walk across to. And uh, the water is so clear up there. And so much life in the sea. I mean, you can literally just walk out in the water as far as from here, closer than that boat. And it's just full of life. Full of life. Her cousin's got a boat up here, and she's picked us up before right over here at the wharf, and we went out and around. Now, that time, her boat, it was a small boat, and uh, they dropped us off on an island, and we camped out on an island out by ourselves, just Melinda and some of the family, and they were supposed to come back and pick us up, and they never did. We kept waiting and waiting and waiting, and uh, finally, we... Uh, made contact and found out that her boat had broke down and uh, so they was giving some trouble they finally got us picked up and they took us over to another island to Melinda's uncles and we hung out there and we couldn't get off of that island at all then the boat was completely dead and they finally had to get a big boat way bigger than this a big boat came in big wooden pump boat and uh pulled up there and loaded us up and headed out but i remember that adventure it was a good time uh really good time and that was right after typhoon yolanda had come through here and this whole town of conception was extremely damaged extremely damaged and wiped out and this vegetation right there has grown back and you see all these coconuts are just small trees. You see that? They're all just little short coconuts because the tall coconut trees here everywhere were completely decimated. Uh, the tops of those mountains right there were just stripped bald from Typhoon Yolanda. Everything on top was stripped bald. Every roof here was gone. Uh, this place was built right after that. It was right after then. And the whole town here back then, it, it looked just like a war zone. It was uh, pretty shocking.
So we can been continuing exploring all day. It's getting in that evening time now. Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? Look at this. Very beautiful. Tell them where we're at now. So we are now in San Junicio, Iloilo. It's still, it's still in Iloilo. Still part of Panay Island. Yes, in Panay Island. Now we got to clear something up. So many people, I noticed so many people, uh, even some vloggers here in the Philippines, they think that Iloilo is an island. Iloilo is on an island. Iloilo is a city on an island, and then there's the Iloilo province. But Iloilo is not a island. I hear that so many times. I'm gonna go to Iloilo Island. There's no Iloilo Island, <laughs> at least not I know of. We're on Panay Island, and Panay is so beautiful. Look at this. It is very beautiful. There's so many small islands here. Little islets right off the main. Very beautiful. Yeah, we're just enjoying road tripping. You see, we're on a little back street. It's a little dirt street right here. In a little fish camp community. I'm gonna take the drone up.
time I'm out like this and I shoot drone footage, the locals are always curious, you know, and um, I like to share it to them. So sometimes if there's not too many, I'll get them to come look while I'm flying and they can see on my screen everything in their community right where they live from a way maybe they've never seen it before and uh they they kind of stayed back while i recorded this time but they were all curious so when i got done recording i played it all back for them i had a little crowd there just then they were enjoying to see their place and even them they were saying oh it's so beautiful and it's right where they live it's just a different view than they always get I just enjoy sharing that to them, taking a minute, sharing back to them, you know, putting out some positive influence out there.